Hello and welcome dear learners on your favorite uh, learning channel. Today we are going to uh, see the details of disintegration test as defined in USP General Chapter 701. So what is disintegration? Many, many of you may get confused between disintegration and dissolution. So dissolution means complete dissolution, complete solubilization of the tablet or capsule or its constituent. Whereas the complete disintegration is defined as the state in which any residue of the tablet or capsule remaining on the screen of the test apparatus is a soft mass having no palpably firm core. So disintegration means breaking out the tablet or capsule into the smaller fragments. So now we are going to see the disintegration apparatus. The disintegration apparatus consists of four uh, components. So first one is a basket rack assembly which is denoted by one in the figure, second one is a beaker denoted by two, then there is a thermostatic arrangement for heating of the of the fluid and fourth one is a device for raising and lowering the assembly which is denoted by four in the uh, in the picture so you can see all the four components fifth one you can consider it uh, 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 display so in automatic um, uh, instrument you can uh, see the display as well so we can uh, now we are going to learn uh, in depth about the basket rack assembly so uh, what is the exact design of this assembly so this assembly consists of six open-ended transparent tubes so the uh, dimensions of the tube is defined in the USB so tubes are of length having 77.5 plus or minus 2 millimeter each the inside diameter of the tubes is 21.85 plus or minus 1.5 mm and the tubes are having wall thickness of 1.9 plus or minus 0.9 mm. These uh, six tubes are uh, are held in a vertical position by two plates, one on the top and one on the bottom. And the dimensions for these plates are also given. So the diameter of the uh, plate is uh, 90 plus or minus 2 mm. And the thickness should be uh, 6.75 plus or minus 1.75 mm. And these plates will have six holes, each correspond each uh, having a diameter of 24 plus or minus 2 mm. And uh, this uh, these holes are corresponding to the six tubes of the basket rack assembly. Then there is a woven stainless steel wire cloth. So uh, this uh, this is attached uh, to the lower plate, and it is uh, uh, it has a plain square view with two plus minus zero point two mm aperture. So basically, a ten uh, ten mesh sieve is attached uh, on the uh, on the bottom plate. And the dimension of the wire is also given, which is 0 0.57 to 0 0.66 mm in diameter. And this, uh, these parts are rigidly held, tightly uh, fixed with the help of bolts, which are passing through both the uh, both the plates. So you can see. All the dimensions given in this picture 
and the, uh, similarly there are the specifications of uh, remaining components are also given in the USB so as you know the beaker which is having one liter capacity the height of the beaker should be 138 to 160 mm the inside diameter of the beaker is 97 to 115 mm then there is a thermostat which uh, which should be capable of maintaining the temperature inside the uh, uh, temperature of the fluid inside the beaker at 37 plus or minus 2 degrees celsius and the uh, third one third assem third part of the uh, apparatus is a device uh, which helps in raising and lowering of the uh, of the basket in the disintegration media so the uh, speed of operation of this uh, assembly is also given so the frequency should be 29 plus uh, 29 to 30 cycles per minute the distance uh, traveled by the assembly should be not less than 53 and not more than 57 mm and there are some more details about the apparatus so here the volume of the fluid in the vessel should be such that uh, the at the highest point of the upward stroke the wire mesh remains at least 15 mm below the surface of fluid the fluid in most of the cases is water so when the when the basket is in the uh, utmost position the wire mesh at the bottom of the uh, of the basket should be immersed at least 15 mm similarly when the when the basket is at its lowest position it should be not less than 25 mm from the bottom of the vessel again uh, the next point is at no time should the top of the basket rack assembly become submerged so this uh, this means that the basket should not be completely dipped inside the fluid then uh, the time required for upward stroke and downward stroke should be equal and the uh, and the movement should be uh, smooth there should not be any jerk jerking movement during up and down movement of the basket and also there should not be any horizontal movement of the basket the basket should only move in the vertical direction so these were the details of the disintegration test apparatus hope you like the details thank you for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe Keep learning. Thank you.